But you know you got work in the morning. When you wake up yawning, gonna keep up with the real one. Don't got no obligations. At least for today, at least you can stay for as long as you care, babe. As long as you wanna, everything's in the air. Hi goddesses. Today we are going to be going to the studio, but I wanted to like record this because one, it is that time of the month. So I wanted to kind of like share with you goddesses, like my routine when it is that time of the month, as well as like with my skincare routine when I like have breakouts. Ooh, a few days ago, my face broke out so bad, y'all. I'm gonna put pictures up so y'all can see. It was terrible. And that was about like probably like five days ago. So I'm gonna share like what was the reason to probably why my face broke out so if this does happen to you like how to like deal with it how to combat it and whatnot and mind you i'm gonna be honest like as you can see like my skin has cleared up so i'm just gonna like share what you gotta say is like my skincare routine as well as like what i do when it is that time of the month and it's like a heavy flow day so how do i go about that when i'm in the studio overall my morning routine and stuff so let's get into it so pretty much what happened to my skin and why i broke out one of the biggest things that i learned about my skin just now is that i have very very sensitive skin at first i thought it was like my lashes that i was like oh my lashes is like what's breaking out my face but i had my lashes a couple days in already so i was like okay it's definitely not my lashes so this is what i come to realize so i have this thing where it like rolls out your face and this is what broke my face out so bad was that rolling face thing that i used i didn't wash this and i hadn't used it in like probably month and it's just been sitting in my drawer so when i use that on my face that's what broke my face out because i didn't wash it you being a person that's pretty as fuck regardless if you have acne you're still a pretty bitch if you don't know anything about chlorophyll definitely research it on your own but i am drinking chlorophyll water and i think drinking the chlorophyll water with doing my routine sped up like my like healing on my face like getting rid of the acne because if you don't know chlorophyll actually makes your skin clearer so definitely try that if you are having a breakout or if you are breaking out as of right now i'm very very much taking my youtube channel a lot more serious compared to any other social media platform so right now my major platform that i have is my instagram account but it's one of those things where i feel like i'm at a place where i don't feel like Instagram is really like serving me. And I have to be so honest with myself in this video of talking about content creation. I was watching a video last night, was talking about how like one of her videos took off on her channel. She was just focusing in on YouTube. Leaving Instagram, I feel like I'm gonna be abandoning, you know, something. But then I have to remind myself that I am starting something new and I really, really want to narrow in on that. And since I am talking about content creation with you goddesses, you are someone that is looking into being full-time content creator because that's literally what i am doing right now but i'm going to share like a piece of advice when it comes to content creating and growing a platform one of my biggest things that i did but i did not know was so vital to growth was when you narrow in on one platform and that's it you're going to grow and that's what happened with instagram i wasn't focusing on multiple different platforms like yeah i posted on tiktok from here and there but i wasn't like avidly posting on TikTok. Narrowing in on one platform is way more important than anything else. I think I'm going to make a decision to completely cut out Instagram. It's hard, but I feel like at least for four months or something, narrowing in on like YouTube. What I'm trying to say is like, it's a big shift I want to say like peace out to Instagram, but I'm trying to figure out a balance right now. So I wanted to share that with you goddesses as well. So I'm just going to be sitting here working for a little bit and then I'm going to get in the shower and get my clothes ready for the studio and all that and more. up i'm going to be transitioning using my phone camera instead of this camera here so i will see you goddesses at 
the studio if you watched my self-care video i had like did like a speed through like through doing my lashes and my nails my lashes have been on for like a good week i have to redo them now like this one's kind of like falling off and whatever but they stayed on for a good fucking week and this is my second time doing my lashes so if you goddesses are like interested in me doing like a full-blown tutorial on how i do my lashes please leave a comment below I'd love to do a tutorial showing you goddesses on how i do like my lashes a comment below lash tag uh, i think that's so funny but comment comment below lash tag that you want to get a tutorial on how i do my lashes like i said today i'm not gonna do too much because it is that time of the month so I'm just going to do what feels right and kind of take it slow on like my period days, you know? goddesses so i pretty much got the content that i needed also stretching and just practicing overall because it's been a while since i like practice like consistently getting on the pole and whatnot you know being on my period and everything doing the yoga and like really opening up the hips and everything i feel a lot better so i've been at the studio now for about like two hours i saw an exotic pet sore so i think i'm gonna go there yeah, i'm gonna go because i love exotic animals so with that being said this is just an adventure today like literally just an adventure today so with that being said i'm gonna pack up the studio and head on over to the exotic store for animals and then head on home so before i leave the studio i just wanted to journal my shadow work journal getting out things especially like with dancing i transmuted a lot of energy out of me that was one of the biggest things that i wanted to focus on today so i'm just going to jot down what i have been holding within me and transmute it here and head on out i'm also going to read the affirmations that i have in my shadow work journal as well I embrace the new day as a fresh opportunity to create, learn, and make positive impact. I am in control of my thoughts and I choose to focus on the beauty and goodness around me. When I say saying affirmations are so important to your healing journey, to just transmuting your thoughts and changing your chemistry within your body, your thoughts, you know, your subconscious mind. I'm starting to implement my journaling into, you know, going to the studio and all that and more and saying my affirmations because that makes my day so much better. And if I'm already transmuting energy like out of me that is stagnant, you know what I'm saying, that isn't that great, of course I have to replace that energy with something better, which is affirmations and beautiful words 
And what I believe to be true, the more and more I say it, things will start to happen in my world and in my life. So with that being said, I'm gonna clean up the studio and I'm gonna head on out. So like I said, I'm gonna make a quick little detour and go to this exotic um, pet store. I don't know what's gonna be in it. In the future, I really want to get like reptiles. Like I love lizards. I love like geckos. I really want to get it like crest crested gecko. So I'm just gonna go and check out and see what they have there. But if you goddesses have seen any angel numbers today, definitely comment below what angel numbers you've seen today. I'll just read the affirmations that are in here. And it says, I am a magnet for opportunities that align with my highest good. I am open to receiving all the love, success, and prosperity that flows to me. I release all doubt and fear, replacing them with unwavering faith in my journey. But with that being said, goddesses, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go inside, I'm going to eat, and I'm going to chill for the rest of the day, probably edit. Do not forget to comment down below if you want me to do my lashes, do a lash tutorial. Love you, goddesses, and see you next time. I don't care for